can, can you do me a favor though? Can you pull a book off your shelf, like a physical book that maybe you haven't read before and then just read it as full comprehension, big frame as you can, because that will make a cool video. <laughs> I can, I got one here. Cool. So, yeah, so just as long as I can see it as well. So, like, mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Right, let's take it. Do you see it or is it too blurry? Uh, it's a bit blurry. Sometimes I can see it. If it's in front yeah. of you, I can see it. No, that's blurry. Yeah, right here. yeah that's better. Yeah. Go as fast as you can. Okay. With full, comp with full comprehension. Take a deep breath. Okay. okay. And start. And stop. Mm -hmm. Stop. Yeah, just stop. Can you count how many pages you read? <clears throat> and then, yeah, if you do, if you want to do the words per minute, you're gonna to have to calculate the average number of words and on the page, <clears throat> which is not. Twenty nine thousand two hundred thirty eight words. It's much denser. I put a page. I was counting on a page that had little less text. Okay. <laughs> um, how's the recall now? Just on that text. On this tag, the recoil is very high. Sure. So it's about entrepreneurship, and we're going into the different principles of entrepreneurship. One of them is about um, different methodology of testing your ideas on how to get it out there. Different principles of learning as well, like right? the principle of small increments and small growth. It was taking the example of the focus and it was using Warren Buffett example of how Warren Buffett chooses investment that goes around. Then he was speaking about the principle of Olivier Saban, which is a French um, real estate expert in teaching the parking method of that real estate uh, agent there. And then who was going, went into a parental's 80-20 rules to select what you need to focus, how to focus your attention on what you need to take on as a next step in your learning on your entrepreneurial journey. And it was also covering, you know, as you come up with an idea, don't be enamored with that idea and how you can um, validate that idea. Like either, so some examples they gave is taking a landing page, create a quick one, running that onto it and see what happens to that, to use that as a testing basis. Uh, other methodology is about talking with your network and see how people are reacting, sending out a survey to, uh, to get those. Okay, take a deep breath. 
Yeah, it's even it's even mind blowing for me. My mind is. <laughs> Sheesh. Okay, beautiful then. Wow. It is true because this is also a topic I'm very interested in. So the recall is so much easier. Okay, that's amazing. I'm dumbfounded.